Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to hold on to the breath. Don't let yourself get pulled off in other directions. And fill the mind with the breath. Fill the body with the breath. Years back, a John Ford was invited for a meal one time. He very rarely went for meal invitations, but he went for this one. And instead of chatting, he said, okay, any Dharma questions? So this one woman asked, when you meditate, you're making your mind empty, right? And he said, no. If you make your mind empty, it's like leaving the door to your house open. Anything can walk in. You want to keep the door closed and focus on one object. That's how, you, that's how you keep it closed. You stay with the breath, fill the breath throughout the body. Fill the mind with the breath. And there's no room for anything else to come in. It's when you're only half with the breath that other things come and pull you away. So try to be fully here with the breath, totally present to the breath. And then maintain that. Keep watch over it. As things begin to settle down inside, then you can see the mind really clearly. And then at that point, when things come into the mind, you're not going to be knocked away. It's like being able to see things out the window of the house. You know they're there, but you don't have to let them in. And you don't have to go running out after them. So fill the house with your awareness. Fill the house with your breath. Make this a good, safe place to stay. If you leave your mind open and empty, anything can come in. But when you're trying to develop skill in the mind, you don't just wait around for anything to come in. You've got your purpose in being here. You want to maintain that purpose. Wish to figure out the mind. How is it that the mind creates suffering for itself? We all want happiness. Everything we do is for the sake of happiness, and yet the results are not always happy. We want to see the connections. We want to see where is it that we're ignorant, where we don't see what we're doing. So give your full attention right here. It's because we give only half attention to the mind and half attention to the world outside that things can go on in the mind that we don't know. They stay in the subconscious. It's like we have rooms in our house that are dark and we don't turn on the light because we're interested in looking out the windows all the time. So turn on all the lights in the house. So when an intention comes up in the mind, you see it. When you're able to judge it, it's just, where is this going to go? That way you bring knowledge to the process. And when you bring knowledge, then it turns your actions from causes of suffering into factors of the path. So there's work to be done here. We're not just sitting emptying the mind. We empty it of our outside preoccupations, but then we full, fill it with our inside preoccupation. The breath, together with your awareness, right here at the present moment. And it's around that that you begin to see what's going on. <laughs>